So welcome to part three of the beginning iPhone development series. Uh, in the last tutorial, we touched on essentially the gotchas of programming for the iPhone of you know what to watch out for, some caveats and things like that. So let's go ahead and you know, like I promised, uh, make some labels and you know get something other than this crummy looking gray screen. So let's go ahead and uh, open up your come into your SDK. And what you're going to see if you if you open up the resources folder, you're going to see this thing called Hello Fredducate View Controller. Well, we'll talk a little bit more about the view controllers and stuff, but you know, right now all you need to know is that double click it, and this is going to launch something down here. It's called Interface Builder. So now we're going to add an extra part to this, which is really really cool and makes things really really easy. So now you got your view. You got this gray screen. This is what you're used to seeing. Here's that single view that you're talking about, uh, that I was talking about in the, in the other tutorial. Now you got a list of different objects that you can do. A lot of view controllers, navigation controllers, table view controllers. Read on because each one of these have, have a description of what they do and each one does something unique and cool. So what we're going to be looking for though, if we just keep scrolling down, you're going to see a label. All right, that's what we're going to go for in this tutorial, just so you can see how this works. So all you got to do is click and drag it over to the screen. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Now, if we ran it, we'd see label. Well, let's go ahead and change our text to say, hello, Fredricate. All right, hit return, perfect. So um, again, you can have, it's truncating the tail right now. You could set your uh, line breaks, do whatever you wanted to, but we're just gonna go ahead and expand this a little further, make it a little bigger, and just place it in the center, roughly. It doesn't have to be perfect. I could set the alignment if I wanted to. I don't, you can get real fancy with this if you wanted to. It's how fancy you can make a Hello World tutorial. Um, so once that's good to go, just save it. Come back over. Build and run. It might tell you stop executable. Uh, just uh, hit OK. All it's going to do is just recompile it and launch it. Now you see that you'll have, you know, text inside of the actual application working and it was that easy. We didn't have to write a single line of code to get things displayed in our application. We could have wrote as much text as we wanted to and uh, you know it started, it, we didn't have to we didn't have to come in and write any code here. You didn't have to know what any you didn't have to know what classes were, you didn't have to know what frameworks were. You didn't have to know anything essentially besides how to get to the interface builder and drag stuff out from over on the left of the library. You know, this is the library. Um, you know, and then you can sort also as well too. Go into Core Cocoa Touch, and you know, you've got a bunch of different options to choose from if you feel like diving into that. Um, if you wanted to go one step further, you know, let's see what a text field looks like. We're gonna add text field there, and actually we just we just hit copy paste. We can just nudge that one below it. And now, you know, let's just name this username and we're going to name this one pass for password. So let's go ahead and save this again. File save. We come back over here, run this guy. Now we get some text fields that we can type into. Pretty cool stuff. I mean, it's that easy. Nothing terribly hard about this. And you know, one thing to note about you know the iPhone as well, it has a little, it has a little different approach than what you're used to. It automatically has um, 
the calls and stuff it needs to pull up keyboards. So if you're working with a text input field in this case, it automatically knows. You don't have to add any extra coding or anything to tell it to automatically pull up this keyboard, slide it out, and then when you're done, you know, essentially put it away. So that is about it for this tutorial. We will talk more in the next tutorial about, you know, what all this is. What what is all this great looking stuff in the SDK? Um, essentially our IDE. Um, this is our integrated development environment and this is what Xcode is. It's an IDE. Um, I've been using SDK a lot. That's not actually the correct word. IDE is actually the correct word. SDK is the whole whole development kit. So in the next tutorial what we'll go into is talk about what all these folders mean, what these file windows mean, and get you up and running in that direction so you have a really solid understanding and then we can start coding from there. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.